I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light, and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. From the Gospel according to Luke At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk. Lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear, the dead are raised. The poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. Let's listen to Pope Francis' commentary. Il Battista attendeva con ansia il Messia e nella sua predicazione John was anxiously awaiting the Messiah and used colorful language to describe him in his preaching as a judge who would finally inaugurate the kingdom of God and purify his people, rewarding the good and punishing the bad. Now that Jesus has begun his public mission in a different manner, John suffers because he is in a twofold darkness, the darkness of his prison cell, and the darkness of heart. He does not understand this manner of Jesus, and he wants to know if he is really the Messiah, or if he must await someone else. He responds by saying that he is the real instrument of the Father's mercy, who goes to encounter everyone, bringing consolation and salvation, and, in doing so, he manifests God's justice. God did not send his Son into the world to punish sinners, nor to destroy the wicked. Rather, they were invited to convert, so that, seeing the signs of divine goodness, they might rediscover their way back. 